correspondence at kermitandmail.com if you'd like to get in touch uh, in time for next week's programme. So let's talk about a show on Apple TV+. Plus. Yeah, Blackbird, which is a series which premieres uh, on the 8th, uh, Friday, and the, the first two episodes go up and then the rest are weekly, based on uh, an autobiographical novel, In With the Devil, A Fallen Hero, A Serial Killer, and A Dangerous Bargain for Redemption by James Keane, which I had not read, and I imagine you hadn't either. No, but it's quite... a. That information is there and it's in the title sequence and actually is quite revealing. It is. Um, developed by Dennis Lahane. Is it Lahane or Lahane? Lahane? I think it's Lahane. Lahane, um, who's the writer behind Mystic River, Shutter Island, Gone Baby Gone. Taron Egerton, who stars as James Keane, um, also produces. He, he's a drug drug dealer. He uh, gets himself into a 10-year stretch after having done a deal that goes wrong. Rayleigh Otter is his ex-cop father who is ill and tells him that he might not make 10 years. So when James is approached in his prison by the FBI to transfer to a hellish facility where they want him to befriend a convicted serial killer to find out where the bodies are buried, he takes the deal because it's a horrible place to go to, but he needs to get out fast because otherwise he he thinks he might not see his father on the outside. Paul Walter Hauser, the great Paul Walter Hauser, um, is uh, is the convict who was has confessed to serial killings and but he's also suspected of being a serial confessor rather than a serial killer somebody who just obsessively confesses to crimes or fantasizes about crimes that they didn't actually commit and in another thread we see Greg Kinnear as the cop who brings him to justice, in inverted commas, or at least thinks he does, because at the point that we meet this story, there is doubt over the confessions that got him convicted and an appeal pending that could put him back outside. So the setup is essentially, therefore, that Taron Edgerton's character has to inveigle his way into the confidence of Paul Walter Hauser's character and find out where the bodies are buried in the understanding that they might actually not be because we the audience don't know exactly what happened or whether or not the character is a fantasist or whether the character is a killer and now I've seen the first three episodes um I think you've seen all six yeah. it makes for very gripping drama I mean they the two central characters don't meet until episode three and so there's a terrific job before that of building the backstory towards putting them finally in the same room together where the conversations then have to start happening about, you know, exactly what's going on. Is, is you know, is Paul Walter House's character a, a fantasist? Is he somebody who just has absolutely grotesque dreams? Is he somebody who believes that he's done things that he hasn't done or is he actually very cleverly covering his tracks by confessing to things that he did do, but in a way that makes him appear that he is a serial confessor, even though he's behind bars, but he has a he has an appeal coming up. I thought Edgerton's terrific. I think he's a really talented actor. I mean, obviously, you know, I, I loved him in Rocket Man, but the physical transformation that he undergoes for this is enormous. It's not just that he's incredibly ripped and bulked up, but the way in which he walks, the cockiness of his character and the way in which he walks, it's essentially a prison drama. Um, and it is worth saying that certainly all of I've seen, and I've, I think you've seen the whole of the series now, it is it is all to do with what happens basically inside. You know, the, the we, it's not a film which is revisiting crime scenes and really no grisly. Crimes. I mean, I mean, and and worth just underlining that point because, as I've said before, I don't like serial killer stuff, particularly when they seem to ex- enjoy uh, the killings of uh, women. And if you're yeah. going to tell a story like this, if you tell it from inside the prison and trying to work out what the story is, that seems to be a much more uh, edifying way of telling a story. Absolutely. Paul Walter Hauser, who we interviewed on Kermit and May's Home Entertainment Service during lockdown, is terrific. We've seen him playing fantasists before. You think of him in I, Tonya, in which he's the guy who thinks that he's a special... There's that, you know, the interview, you're with special, I'm funny. a special option, but you're not. I am, but you're not. We've also seen him play uh, characters who are wrongly convicted. Think of um, Richard Jewell, in which he is accused of a crime which he didn't commit, because he seems weird, because he seems strange, because he seems like a misfit. He's somebody who just looks like they fit the profile. And I think what he does here is he does a brilliant job of leaving us genuinely uncertain as to what's real and what isn't. He has a 
it's hard to describe this. He has a real talent for talking whilst appearing to be looking off into the distance and seeing something that we're not seeing. You know, he has a he has a way of externalizing the idea of imagining something. You look at his face and you can see him, you can see the inner workings of his mind or his character's mind, which is a real talent. I don't know how he does it, but it's a real talent. I knew nothing of the story before I went in. Um, I hadn't heard of it at all. And I think uh, that's probably the best way to go into it. Very well uh, written and well played. And I thought it was fairly discreet with the with the areas that you just talked about. Ray Liotta is very moving as his father. And the third episode is dedicated to... Yes, at the end it says dedicated to... the memory of yeah. Ray Liotta. And it is a very moving performance, this kind of fragile character who's whose desperation i mean there is a terrible you know there's he get, he makes a mistake quite early on and you can see he's racked with guilt about the mistake that he's made because he suddenly realizes that he's done something that and is, he's playing a man at the end of his life as well precisely um so no i thought it was really very impressive i've seen the th- i've seen the first three episodes i'm definitely going to watch the, the 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 last three you've seen all six now and uh, yes i th- i thought it was terrific uh paul walter hauser as you said and uh taron are both terrific there are a couple of uh i have i have a couple of que- it takes a couple of unusual turns and i'm not quite sure it works towards the end okay. but um we don't need to bother with that because in general they've got an interesting story and they've told it fantastically well and the sort of the discomfort i had just in terms of the episodes that we're talking about that we're allowed to talk about is because precisely that reason um, that in previous movies we've judged, and in fact in real life we judge people on the way they look and their manner, and they go, "Well, you're weird, so it's obviously you." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're thinking, okay, well, it does appear to be you, but maybe that's just because you're slightly unusual and you look unusual. And uh, and I think Paul Walter Hauser plays that brilliantly because he knows exactly what he's doing in terms of portraying a character who on the one hand fits exactly that kind of stereotype because when we first meet him the police say oh yeah we brought him in many times he's just a he's basically just a weirdo and I think Paul Walter Hazard does a brilliant job of making him more than just a weirdo or maybe less than just a weirdo it's 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 such a uh, do I mean mercurial it's such yes. a yeah exactly. mercurial performance that you do you, you know you you feel about him the same way that Taron Egerton's character does when he first starts to to interact with him is you you feel like the ground is shifting under your feet you don't quite know what ground you're on so uh, this is blackbird it's on apple tv plus